dark side. Two, no! one, zero. Greetings, Retro Unlimmers! I'm Harry Yak, and I blather mindlessly over the top of video game footage. The game you're gonna see me playing here is Fireman Rescue, and I will give you a running commentary, as well as a brief background into the kind of things that I do. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this game, or should I say, straight out of the burning building. Ooh, spoilers. Skill level three. <laughs> so my name is Harold Rutherford Yak. That's not my real name, but well, everybody's got to have a pseudonym on the internet these days. And anyway, my real name is rather boring and northern, so Harry Yak. Far more interesting. So yes, I am not a yak. I'd just like to point that out straight away. Although you may call me Mr. Yak, if you wish, although I'm not bothered. You could call me Bumface for all I care. Right, this is the really difficult level. I mean, look at that. This is... Yes, I got one! Oh! This part of the game is almost impossible. And there we go. We saved absolutely nobody. <laughs> 4,500 points. So I started my internet writing career, such as it is, back in 2005-6 for the Encyclopedia. You may have heard of it, but probably not, because it's a rather unfunny website where unfunny people write unfunny articles. And I was one of those people. I used to write pun-ridden, horrible jokes, and, uh, well, some people liked it, I guess. I got a few featured articles over there. And then following that, I helped to found a spin-off website called the Illogicopedia. Go and check that out if you feel the urge. Around about the same time, I started writing for a commercial blogging website. I didn't really write blogs in the traditional sense, because I'm not the sort of person to stand on top of this soapbox and blog about all the big political issues of the day. I just talk about things that interest me, really. And I don't mean to cheese people off or invoke serious hatred and nasty things like that. I just make videos for fun and hopefully some of you people out there will also have fun watching them. That's the idea anyway. And if that doesn't happen, well, I'm not doing my job correctly. Except I'm not being paid for this, so it's not a job. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, look at that. Two in a row. Uh, he's lost to the annals of time. Not just splattered on the pavement, but... He's fallen through the floor. They're going straight to hell. Through the bowels of the earth into the center. Oh, look at that. I did slightly better there. Alright, so... I guess you've heard enough about me. So, as a reward for sitting through all that, it's time for a burger party! And no, I'm not kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, it's burger time! Oh yes, that looks fantastically appetizing there, doesn't it? Uh, except those burnt bits of cheese. And you don't really get a sense of scale, do you? So that could be huge, that burger! Ah, that's what I prefer to think about it. Oh yes, that's a true Scooby-Doo style burger there. And I wasn't lying, this is indeed a burger party! It's a game called Burger Party. And it's a space shooter with tomato sauce bottles. Yes, already. This is my type of game. Oh no! Attack of the Mutant Burger! Shoot it! Oh! Yes, you must shoot bits of tomato sauce at the massive burger firing out chicken drumstick missiles. 
die, you evil scum of the universe, yes! <laughs> and it goes flying off, flattened like a pancake. Now, you must collect these tomatoes here, although it's quite difficult, because you move rather slowly, but then I guess tomato sauce shifts would move rather slowly. The tomatoes refill your ammo. See, I will try and fire off all my bullets. <laughs> bullets. <laughs> my sauce bullets. Oh no, the burger is back! They've managed to make another burger. They've got it from the catering kitchen. They've got the chef to make it for them. The movements of this burger are ugh, unpredictable. Oh, come here. Why am I having so much trouble killing a burger? Come on! And that's the biggest burger I've ever seen, if you compare it to the size of your sauce bottle ship. Tch, unless it's one of those mini sauce bottles that you can get. You know, like those sachets of sauce that you can get in Weatherspoon's restaurants. As opposed to those enormous bottles that you get in chippies. And I should point out that if you are suffering from a seizure right now, Sorry! Well, thank goodness, just in time, it's game over. I've been hit one too many times by the flying burgers and fries. And there is the chicken leg flying around the Eiffel Tower. That's just blimmin' bizarre, isn't it? So, the creators of this game are a French collective, I don't know if they're still going, I believe so, that produce papers on Amstrad coding. They also do the odd game and cover tape. I don't know if this was from one of the papers. Well, I say papers, I mean like a fanzine type thing. And I'm not sure if this was an accompanying tape, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. I love it! It's got a fantastic sense of humour! Ah, it's just a case of memorising his pattern, and he goes flying off like a balloon that's just been exploded. And what's next, then? Come on, who's next? Ah, Burger Boy! It's time to bite the dust, or bite the sauce, or horseradish, or whatever. What's next? <laughs> okay. Have you ever had tomato sauce on ice cream? Well, thanks to this game, I now want some, and oh my goodness, he moves really unpredictably. Yes, I can safely say I've never played a game where you shoot ice cream with sauce. And it's a pity, really, because where's this game been all my blasted life? What's next in the buffet? Is it another burger? Aha! What is that thing? <laughs> Looks like the emblem of an obscure football club. Yes, Veggie United. Well, this is actually rather fun once you get into it. It drags you in with its novelty value, but then you stay for the fantastic shoot 'em up action. Yes, fast and furious it is. On the Amstrad CPC 6128. And we get hit by the giant lettuce, which spells game over once more. Ha! <laughs> well, what a fantastic introduction to Retro One Limb, I'm sure you'll agree. A couple of, well, one average and one fantastic game. This was released in the mid-90s, 1995 by Futures. And I recommend you go and check it out. Yes, I'm going to start a public service. Hurry, Yak! Uncovering those hidden gems lost for years and years amongst the mounds of crap out there in video game land. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you in a future video. Until next time, keep eating those burgers, but not too many, because you'll get fat. And your hair will fall out. And your toenails will fall off. And you'll go blind, and deaf, and mute. <laughs>